learning to use the space to your advantage in the knife fighting. So. In our training, we sometimes like to conduct different experiments, testing our skills in non-standard conditions. Today I want to tell you about uh, the experiments of fighting in different surfaces and using the surrounding space to your advantage. In addition to comfortable floor surfaces of the gym, it is quite uh, rewarding to try sparing outdoors. You can always find interesting places that will have a significant impact on how you are able to move about. One example was when I tried to spar in the snow. We tried walking in different dips of snow, using natural objects as trees and gardens. When you cannot move at your usual pace, it greatly affects the pattern of the fight. On snow or icy surfaces, for example, there is a high probability of slipping as on the tiles or yet grass. Duels on the stairs and in narrow corridors were are also quite informative. If the staircase still makes it impossible to minimize the distance, then in corridors due to the small distance there is an extremely high probability of martial attack. It is good training to improve your left hand defensive action when you cannot move about freely. Coming back to sports knife fight, we usually spar, train and compete turn in tournaments on normal sports floor surfaces. It can be a tatami, a ring or wrestling mat. We walk barefoot or in wrestling shoes with soft sleeves. And in general, the floor surface never affects the fight. Another thing to consider it is the enclosure or open side. Escaping the enemy attack by going beyond the boundaries of the tatami is usually punishable. As for me, I prefer to get a warning than to get two or three steps with a knife. It's more difficult to walk in the ring, where you cannot run away because of the ropes. It is necessary to use the space carefully to be free to maneuver and avoid being pinned against the ropes. Regardless of wherever you are in the ring or the tatami, you can always use it to your advantage. At the start of the fight, both athletes try to occupy the center, which is quite logical. By occupying the center, he has enough space to attack or retreat in almost any directions. Let's consider how to use the space of the corner in the ring or tatami effectively. By crowning the enemy into a corner, we significantly limit his mobility, deprived of the ability to move back and to the sides. The enemy can always move forward or will inevitably be stabbed in the corner. If the enemy does not dare to come out from a corner, this is a great moment to tear him apart and finish him. But often, an opponent sandwiched in a corner does the only thing he can – an attack. In this case, I use it to my advantage by moving towards the corner ready to retreat repeatedly into the open space behind me. Knowing that he no, has no opinion but to attack, I can wait for his exit and parry every strike he sent at me. There are also those who go into a corner or on purpose to create a trap. You should avoid being caught like his even if you are very presently invited. If you are being loaded towards a corner, it is the best to attack just before entering the corner. Then you will have a little space for maneuvering and there is a chance to permit the enemy actions with a counter-attack. Once you have mastered the techniques of movement, defense and attack, then you are ready to learn how to use the different spaces, train with pleasure and without injury.